Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Monday, February 12th. Philadelphia police are investigating a triple shooting that left one man dead and two others wounded. When officers arrived near South 75th Street and Elmwood Avenue yesterday afternoon, they found a car with windows shattered by gunfire and bullet holes in the door. A 23-year-old man was pronounced dead at the hospital. Two other men are now in stable condition. A manhunt is underway for the person who stabbed a man in Kensington. Police say the 21-year-old man was stabbed in the neck just before 2 this morning along the 3100 block of Kensington Avenue. He is now in critical condition, and so far investigators have no motive for the violence. And Attorney General Jeff Session plans a trip to Philadelphia today. He's giving a speech to the Union League of Philadelphia as part of its celebration to honor President Abraham Lincoln. The 16th president was born on this day back in 1809. Now to the eyewitness with a forecast with meteorologist Katie Failinger. Hi, Katie. Hey there, Jen. You know, we've had some very wet weather over the span of this past weekend, of course. Now the worst of it is pushing away and getting out to sea, but we even have still had some rain coming down through the course of the morning. However, with time, this all continues to just make its departure and exit. So primarily from I-95 on south and east, you're still going to have to deal with this. It still lingers even as late as shortly after lunchtime, though, through South Jersey and Delaware. Light to moderate pockets of rain moving through, so it's not not a washout per se, but it's not helping matters when we had the flooding issues uh, since yesterday. But tonight's skies are clear. The temperature only continues to drop off. We were at 61 at 1 a.m. Come later on tonight, mid 20s. So quite the drop off here, but we are going to go through this pattern all over again Wednesday into Thursday and beyond as another set of fronts comes through. So more rain on tap Wednesday night into Thursday as well as for Friday. And the temperatures looking awfully similar to what they did with the this latest batch uh, that's still bringing the rain out out there for um, the next couple of hours. Yeah. All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for this morning's digital news brief. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.